This is Tank's Vlog for November 26th, 2017, wrapping up the day in sports. It was the end of Thanksgiving weekend, and it was an NFL Sunday, where we begin in Foxborough. Hello, Dolphins, my old friend. I watched this team look asleep again. Another season going down the drain. Another season of aggravation and pain. It seems that the season was lost in preseason when Ryan Tannehill did not get his surgery. Watching Coke Coke's notes. Watching coaches snort and coke. Watching Jay Cutler not give a crap. This season has been a nightmare. This team is going absolutely nowhere. And the Patriots just keep winning every game. Oh, it's a shame. It's another season. Of silence. Yes, the Dolphins went to Foxborough. And yes, they were clobbered as expected. <sighs> misery. Misery. Misery and more misery. Patriots never friggin' lose. It's the same team every year. It's just like they're they're helped out by how awful the division is. It, it it's like it's not even chess versus checkers. The Patriots are playing chess, and the Jets, Dolphins, or Bills can't even figure out checkers. I mean, the Jets are playing. Uh, Shoots and ladders. The dolphins are stuck in Candyland, and the Bills are going wee, wee, with that little spinny thing. <sighs> it's a nightmare that never ends. Meanwhile, in Atlanta, last year's Super Bowl loser, the Atlanta Falcons, tried to do the Super Bowl shuffle again. <clears throat> they built a huge lead against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but watched the Buccaneers cut the game to within a touchdown, but some poor decision-making by the Buccaneers, uh, not going for a field goal, said going for on fourth down, gave the uh, Falcons that uh, revival and allowed the Falcons to win the game by two touchdowns. Meanwhile, the Cleveland Browns, Oh, and 11 now. I believe this is uh, 28 straight losses on a Sunday. Uh, last year's only win was on a Saturday. Last two seasons combined now. They're 1 and 26. Combined with three losses at the end of... 2015, they're like one of one in 29 or last 30. The worst stretch in the modern NFL era. <laughs> and what's funny is the only win they had last year was against the San Diego Chargers. At home, they missed the Chargers. One they lost the game because they missed a bunch of field goals. Next week, they played the Chargers in LA, but right now the Chargers are one of the hotter teams. So, I don't think they're going to repeat till 0 and 12. Then we had the uh, the, the uh, Titans. They rallied to beat the Colts today. The Indianapolis Colts. <laughs> they've had some really bad fourth quarters this year. Uh, I believe the side is in six or eight losses. They had the lead at one point. But in every game, it's just they get crushed in the fourth quarter. I mean, uh, right now, if, you, if you're looking for change, you wouldn't want to go to the Colts. Because you know that you're not going to give you four quarters.
memories of when the Chiefs were five and zero. Oh. Kareem Hunt looked like the rookie of the year, but now he's disappeared. Oh, those Kansas City Chiefs. They were 5-0. and oh. Like last year's Vikings, the last team to lose has gone into an utter tailspin. No wins in November. They've lost five of their last six games, scuffling. Their offense is going nowhere. Their offense is absolutely painful to watch. Their, their offense is like watching paint dry. <laughs> I, this team needs Patrick Mahomes. It needs him now. Alex Smith. Sayonara. Jets, you know, the Jets do play hard, but they just don't have enough skill or talent to win. And that was the case today as Josh McNown had that big fumble allowed, uh, picked up by Luke Keekley and a punt return by the Panthers. Uh, and an ordinary game by Cam Newton and the Panthers escaping the Meadowlands with a 35-27 win. AFC South, boy, that is a tough division. You got uh, two eight and three teams and a seven and four Falcon team. I mean, that yeah, you, know, you want to talk about a stacked division? That's a stacked division right now. Philadelphia Eagles, right now, the dominant team in the NFL, thirty-one three win over the Bears. Mitchell Trubisky, I I have my doubts about him. Maybe he'll be like Jared Goff, having a bad rookie year and a good second year. But right now, he does not look like an NFL quarterback. Meanwhile, Carson Wentz, MVP numbers. What else can you say? It's been just an amazing season. Then we go to uh, the West Green Games and... What are the 49ers thinking? They, they traded for Jimmy Garoppolo, but they don't put him into the last series. They had a bye week. He should have learned the playbook by now. You put him in there. You put him in there. What are you doing? This is tanking. This is tanking. If you, every time they put C.J. Beathard out there, they're tanking. You got to know that they're tanking if C.J. Beathard is playing. C.J. Beathard is garbage. And, and they lost to the Seahawks 24-13. And this is a Seahawks team that's just not the same strength as the Seahawks without two of the big four, uh, four members of the Legion of Boom. And yet, the 49ers didn't get into the end zone until the last play of the game. And that was when Jimmy Garoppolo led the team. The 49ers looked so much better when Garoppolo was out there. And I don't understand it. If Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't play next week, then you know they're tanking. Um... Two of the more disappointing teams uh, played each other in Oakland. The Denver Broncos. Uh, whew, as you want to talk about a team that's falling apart. Seven straight losses now. They're 0-5 away from Denver. And they're getting into fights with the uh, Raiders. Uh, an ugly brawl. Raiders, who haven't played much better, been a big disappointment. But at least they're 5-6. and six, And now they're, they have a shot only one game behind the Chiefs. But, oh. Oof. Brutal, brutal, brutal game. Uh, and they scored two late touchdowns. Uh, Trevor Simeon came on and replaced Paxton Lynch, and Paxton Lynch doesn't look like the answer. It's like it's like watching those old merry grounds. Those horses have more life than any of the Broncos quarterbacks at this moment. It one of the best games of the day. The Rams ended the Saints' eight-game winning streak. This is just like last week. The Rams lost in Minnesota because it was two evenly matched teams and the home team's going to win that game. And this week, they got the win because they were the home team and the Saints were going to lose that game. Yes, it was going to go to the home team. It's two evenly matched game teams, and sometimes the home team is going to win. Uh, both teams played well. Alvin Kamara, who's now clearly the odds-on favorite to be offensive rookie of the year, had another big day. He's an exciting player to watch, I tell you. 
Then the Jacksonville Jaguars, they had a big letdown today. Blaine Gabbert, uh, their former quarterback, haunted them. He had a, probably one of the best games of his career. 241 yards passing. Two touchdowns. And the Cardinals win on a late field goal. Also winning on a late field goal is the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers seem to play down to their opponent. And they made Brett Hundley at times look like Aaron Rodgers. But Ben Roethlisberger got the 351 yards passing. Antonio Brown, another big day, 169 yards and receiving two touchdowns. And at the end of the day, the Steelers win on a late field goal. That's our NFL wrap-up. Quickly, NBA. Nets, a nice win in Memphis today. Heat beat the Bulls. Timberwolves beat the Suns. NHL. It was the Rangers over the Canucks in a shootout. The Hurricanes blew away the Predators in the shootout. And the Oilers doubling up the Bruins. Today's three stars are Julio Jones of the Atlanta Falcons, Ben Roethlisberger of the Steelers, and Jared Goff of the Rams. Today's birthday shout-out goes to Pudge Rodriguez, who turns 46. And we take a look back. At the 1952 NFL season, when a team called the Dallas Texans, who ran out of money and had to play as a traveling team the end of the season, won just one game, and it was on Thanksgiving against the Chicago Bears before a crowd of 3,000 fans in Akron. So check out the full story of Barstool Sports and at Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Good day. <laughs>